welcome back to another video with Arduino. Today we're going to be taking a deeper look into the servo motor and making a project with it. So we're going to be combining the use of the LED light and there are some videos on both of these two gadgets. So um, if you want, you can take a look at this, but we're going to be combining both of our skills to make a pretty cool project. Um, I'm going to walk through the circuitry and look at the programming. So let's get started. All right, so the first step to this project is to pair the um, LED lights and it's going to be paired to ground and four. You can see the connections here. It'll be a lot more clear on the actual um, Arduino website virtual um, setup. And so we're going to take our servo motor and notice these colors. And so yellow will go to nine. Yellow goes to nine. Red goes to five V. And the last one goes to the ground. Okay, so we're gonna look at the online version now. So let's take a look at the online version. Um, this is the site we've been visiting in the past few videos called Walkwee. Um, we have the Arduino and some uh, other additions. So notice how the LED is connected to the ground and pin four, um, and the servo is connected to the ground, 5V and pin nine. Um, this is really cool. All I did was I just added a new part. I type in servo or I type in LED and you can add these cool additions. Um, so yeah, I can also change the color if I want to. Let's do green. But um, now let's focus on the code. So this is relatively the same code. I guess I'll just go over it uh, pretty briefly. This is the LED pin. Um, remember, this is the LED pin 4 that we saw here. Um, the serial begin, the attach, right? Um, we have pin mode LED pin. So this LED is going to display the output or shine. We're going to delay 1,000 milliseconds or one second. Um, these are a for loop. And so essentially what happens is it goes from position from 0 all the way to 90, increasing by 1. And the servo motor will move the, um, I guess, it will spin. And this just returns it back to its initial position. So essentially, um, just look at this and see it. Let's move this up. And so it's just moving back and forth. And so now let's stop the sim simulation. And so if you were looking at the previous video um, about the servo motor, you would notice that I also added something. So you see this if statement and you see this if statement here as well. So essentially what this if statement is, is if this condition in the parentheses evaluates the true, the following code will execute. And so it's saying that if the position is greater than or equal to 80, which means if the servo motor is past, if this, if it spins past position 80, which you can tell by the console, then the light will shine. And likewise here, if the position is less than or equal to 80, then don't shine. So essentially, if it went always when the position is greater than 80, the light will shine. And if it is not greater than 80, then the light will not shine. So I try to get everything into frame here. Well, I know it messed up the wiring a little bit, but so let's take a look at this. Zero, zero, see the light's not shining. And then wait a few seconds. We're at 60, 70, 80. And look, now the light has shined. So that's something pretty cool. Um, what you can do is also experiment with these values. Let's make it 90. Or you can instead um, maybe use a buzzer. So maybe in the next video, we're going to look at um, how to use a buzzer and implement it with this. Maybe um, add consistently more additions. And then finally, we'll start to end off with the joystick. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm going to start making shorter videos. Um, these are just going to be some short tutorials with um, cool new projects that you can add. Um, experimenting with different gadgets, making using new additions, and just 
having a really good time and learning a lot. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and um, stay tuned because I have weekly uploads and you're definitely not going to want to miss the next project.